Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to my page. Um, eat, pray, Pio. I love Pio, but this is just my favorite shirt to wear in the mornings. Um, I. It's all of my page. My name is Erin, and I am a health coach that helps women to get in the best shape of their lives. And my page is all about positivity, and it's all about making healthier choices healthier lifestyle choices. It's not about deprivation. It's about healthier choices. And um, I'm also a veterinarian and a mom to a two-year-old and I want to teach my son healthy habits and health and how to be confident. And I need to lead by example if I want to do that. So welcome, welcome to my page. If this is helpful, please share this with somebody that you think could help. This could be useful for, but today we're going to talk about making healthier choices that you can still have French toast when you're on this clean eating lifestyle. So we're gonna make Southern Spice French toast with bananas and pecans if you have them, but I don't know if I have them today. But anyways, um, so I started off by putting four large eggs in this bowl. And this is the way it is when I cook, so it is what it is. Um, then you're gonna put in unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened coconut milk. Hi. You want to say hi? Okay, so then I'm going to use unsweetened coconut milk, and you need a fourth of a cup, which I just eyeball. He wants to, he wants to say hi. Hold on. Okay, so that's a fourth of a cup. Unsweetened coconut milk. Ooh, uh, unsweetened uh, coconut milk. That's the brand I'm using today. And um, a tablespoon of maple syrup. He's gonna help us. That's his apple what we were gonna use for breakfast, but I guess he's gonna eat it regular. Um okay, a tablespoon of pure maple syrup, which is up here and vanilla extract. So you got four large eggs, a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk or coconut milk, a tablespoon of pure grade A maple syrup. I'm using the Pacific Coast brand. Yeah, it goes right in your batter. Yeah, you can still have French toast. It's not the end of the world yeah, clean eating. Um, a teaspoon Mom, of pumpkin pie spice. Vanilla. Yeah. Okay, so then I use this pumpkin pie spice, a teaspoon, oh my gosh, my house, and I just kind of put enough in for a teaspoon, because I like pumpkin pie spice because it's good. Oh, and I like, uh, ew. This is the way it, this is the way it is in my house, you guys. Uh, help me. 
I actually like, it doesn't call for cinnamon, but I like cinnamon in mine as well. So I'm putting cinnamon too. I put the oh. organic. <laughs> That's my apple. Can I have an apple? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Apple. Yes, and then you're going to whisk uh, those ingredients, and then, so that's all you need. So, ends being coconut uh, milk, eggs, pumpkin spice, uh, and cinnamon, and maple syrup. And then you're just basically going uh, to, uh, uh, you want to go get her? Go get her. Okay, so then, and I find this easier to do, oh, I guess you don't need vanilla. I thought you did. It would taste fine with vanilla in it, though. So you're whisking your little batter. I hope, this, I hope this video isn't too crazy for you this morning. But that's my life, so we're going to share about our life. Okay, so then what I do is I spray this pan with coconut spray. I use the non-stick coconut spray. What happened? You want to get back up? Okay. And we're going to turn on our oven. Uh, let's see here. And we're going to put in our bread. So I use seven sprouted bread. I just like to make sure that there is no artificial preservatives or sugar or high fructose corn syrup in my bread. So this bread that I've been buying has two grams of added sugar and it's sprouted Ooh. so that's Ooh. the bread whole grain or sprouted is what I like so now yeah. you take each little bread and soak it on both sides in the mixture so that it's thoroughly soaked in the mixture um, this recipe makes and then we're going to top it with the So that's one. This is going to serve um, I think four servings, right? One slice of bread is one serving. So you're going to have a carb, uh, fruit, half of a fruit serving, half of a protein serving, and if you put the pecans on it, you get half of a blue container as well. You better kind of be careful with the bread. Because if you soak it too much, the breads will break. What? Hi, you see me? We're not gonna cook the apple, no. <laughs> so then you're just gonna cook your you're just gonna cook your French toast like you normally would. Put it into the little pan. Yeah. I'm gonna soak one more piece for the next round. And that is basically it. And so then when we plate it, you're just going to slice half of a blunt banana and each slice and serve it with some apples and chop some raw pecans over the top and you have a French toast. And it's clean, it's healthy, and you don't have to um, give up your French toast just because you're eating healthier now. It's There's just healthier options, healthier recipes that you can make. You don't have to make it the old way. You can, it's delicious this way. So if this was helpful, give me some hearts and some love. Share this video. If you have a challenge like this in the mornings, let me know that, oh, I love him though. He's a good boy. Thank you. Thank you for helping me, Papa. Let's get a kiss this. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know if this is a challenge. Hi. He loves his apples, so that's good. Um, so I hope everyone's having a great day. And um, we're having breakfast now, so I will post a picture when I'm done with this video with about our breakfast. I hope this was helpful, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.